The workshop brings together information commissioners and ombudsmen responsible for the protection and promotion of freedom of information laws. It follows one held last year in Budapest, hosted by the National Authority for Data Protection and Freedom of Information. Its aim is to share expertise and best practice from a practical perspective. Well, those can be quite wide-ranging. Um, in the main, on the whole, it could be just how different regulators from across uh, 10 jurisdictions deal with requests, what the practical issues are in terms of what the request should entail, what information can be provided in response to that request, and what even what information actually is covered by uh, freedom of information legislation. So hopefully this workshop should bring together all these different practical experiences from across the world. So just how clear is the legislation and the guidelines? Can exchanges work when there's no uniformity across jurisdictions? Well, it depends on the, the law. Is It's different for each jurisdiction. So every Freedom of Information Act from each jurisdiction will be its own entity. There are some similarities between some of the uh, pieces of legislation, but they're all quite different. Ours, for example, it'll, it provides quite a wide definition of what information is, and it provides a, a reactive duty for public authorities to provide information in response to individuals' requests, um, and a proactive duty which is, which, to actually publish information proactively. Um, the information itself also, in, there are some exceptions where public authorities don't need to provide the information. And that's important, what you've just mentioned. It's not that people have to look for all the information. The Act does require agencies, as you say, to proactively post information, which I suppose would be that which is the most frequently requested. Well, yes. I mean, at the moment, the law does allow for secondary legislation to come in to provide this proactive uh, element of freedom of information and this will require uh, public authorities to react to actually provide information in advance. We also think this would actually help uh, public authorities because they will then, if they do receive a request for information, if they've already published it somewhere online for example, then they can direct individuals to that information. And who exactly is covered by the Freedom of Information Act? Is it just government departments? It only extends to government departments. Uh, the way that it works is there's a schedule which accompanies the law and public authorities are being added to that schedule on a progressive basis to allow them time to, to prepare for the Freedom Information Act. Prepare. Prepare is a good word because, of course, we don't have a Freedom Information Act yet. In June 2015, the government said it expected it to be phased in within the next few months. It's still not started, has it? Well, that's obviously a matter for the, for the government uh, and not us as, as regulators. Have you been ready? As regulators, in relation to regulating the Freedom of Information Act, yes, we are ready. The introduction of the Freedom of Information Act will undoubtedly throw up a whole range of challenges as well as opportunities. The GRA wants every stakeholder to be as ready and informed as possible.